1983 Ford Escort XR3i. It's a nice original, low owner car. It's had four previous owners. Again, these things look great in silver. Obviously a later I car, so it's injection. If we quickly skim around the outside to start with, obviously original, um, original alloy wheels, which are in lovely shape, which we'll show you in a second. Correct, Pirelli P6000 tires. As you can see, as we go from panel to panel, it's not a, it's not 70 shades of silver. They're all the same color. It has had a full shoot at some point in its life, but it's been a nice job, which we'll have a proper look at as we go around. Um, but I did want to show you, obviously, look, door to wing, bonnet and scuttle, all the same color. Exactly as it should be. There's nothing worse than, worse than a patchwork quilt of silvers. Let's start with the, uh, the bodywork on the front driver's qu uh, front wing. So if you look down the lower end there, you can see the bumper sits nice and straight. These gaps and everything are all nice and even. The body kit fits nice and straight. It doesn't sort of lift out or anything like that. Underneath the bumper on this side, that's all nice and tidy. Coming onto this front wing and this front arch, it's lovely and sharp. If we look under there, the vendor's telling me that these are the original front wings. It does look like it's correct. Got all the right telltale signs, um, but lovely and clean on there. Like I said, the wheels are the correct original wheels, but if you look at the numbers and the logos, they're not sort of overground or worn out or anything like that from loads and loads of refurbs. Um, and again, the nice sharp lips and everything. So just what you want to see. Um, and like I say, they've got recently fitted uh, P6000s all around, which is the correct tire for the car. Coming down this front wing, the uh, XR3 stickers there, all nice and clean. Lower half of the front wing at the front there. Go nice and tidy. Once a little clean off just on the bottom there. Um, but it is nice and tidy. Coming down this front or down this sill, you can see the lips nice and sharp all the way along. It's not been rammed up any curbs or anything like that. Driver's door, all nice and straight. If we look down the whole side of the car, you can see lovely and straight. That body line's nice and sharp all the way down. It's not full of filler or anything like that. The, uh, the body trim sits straight, it's not wavy or anything. The lower half of that door, all good. There's no real marks at all to point out on the door, it's lovely and clean. Around the, uh, the plastics on the, on, the, on the wing mirror and around the windows, nice and clean, they're not dried out or caked and back to black or anything like that. Coming up this pillar, same story, nice and straight. All clean around the, uh, the window seal and along this scuttle. scuttle. We'll have a proper look when we come around the bonnet in a second. But again, there's no sort of stone chips or anything that's sort of rusted through or anything like that. Same goes for around the sunroof. We've popped that up just so I can show you how clean that is in there. Nice and tidy. Current owners always kept the car out of the rain or the water. Um, and apparently the, the owners before that have done that. We have some documents and some letters and statements from old owners, which is always nice. So we can trace the history right back to when it was new. If you look at the roof, lovely and straight. No ripples or dents or anything in that. And then we're coming down this pillar. Same story. Gutters are all nice and clean all the way along, as you can see. Glass on the driver's side, all stamped up, nice and clean and clear. It's not sort of scratched or anything like that. All the trim around the windows is nice and tidy as well, as you can see. No scratches or anything around the locks and the handles. It's got a Clifford alarm on it as well, which has been on for a long time from what I can understand. This rear sort of part of the body kit where it goes out onto the rear wheel and, and the arch is all nice and straight. Again, like the rest of the plastic, it's not dried out or cracked or caked and back to black. Inside this arch again, lovely and clean all the way around. Nice and sharp all the way around, which is always good. Got a couple of little stone chips down the bottom there that one cleaned off. And you've got another good wheel and tire, exactly the same as the front. Coming down this rear quarter, all nice and tidy around the, uh, the filler cap, lower half under the bumper. Okay, nice and tidy. Coming around onto the back, that rear bumper sits nice and straight level both rear tail lights are clear bright no sign of any moisture or anything in those have a look under that bumper on that rear valance again all good along there the seams are all clean and tidy have a look underneath from here as well again clean and tidy again so i believe and we'll double check and detail it in the description spruce howlett in norwich was the original supply and dealer we have um what i can only presume is a reproduction sticker because that's really really clean obviously with the old style telephone number. Now normally on XR3s and Fords or any car with this sort of this sort of era with, era with the, uh, the rubber spoilers, they're normally dried out, cracked, sort of warped, misshapen. But as you can see by looking at this one, beautifully clean all the way along. Underside is perfect. 
You can normally see when this starts waving up, but it's really, really good. All the grommets are in place. It's obviously not been used to lift the bootleg up and down. It's been done properly. And then normally you do get a little bit of corrosion coming through here where the moisture's trapped. But as you can see here, lovely and clean all the way down. Coming around on the passenger side again, that body line, lovely and sharp. If I move the camera back and forward, you can see it's not full of filler. It's not wavy. Really good finish. I mean, there's a, there's a couple of telltale signs that it's had a paint job. But again, the car's 40 years old next year. It's going to have had at least some paint job, but it's been a good job. And it, when, when it's been done, it's been done properly. Wouldn't imagine it was a cheap one. Nice and clean on this rear arch. Lovely and sharp all the way around. And again, that body kit part fits lovely. Another good wheel and tyre. Nothing really to report on that rear quarter at all. All good there. Uh, coming up this pillar. Onto this side of the roof again, the gutter. Lovely and tidy all the way along. There is a tiny little chip in the paint just on the inside there. But I am being really, really picky. And the sunroof and the roof from this side, just the same as the other side, all good. All the glass stamped up, clean, clear. Nothing to report there. We'll have a look at the sill on this side. Again, straight, sharp, all the way along. Bottoms of the door, or bottom of the door even. Lovely and tidy, no marks to report there at all. Another good wing mirror, nice and clean on the A-pillar. If we're going to be really, really picky, there is a tiny little stone chip there, but I'm being super, super picky. I'm probably being a bit cruel of anything. And then this arch on the front, again, lovely and sharp all the way around. Front lip fits perfectly. Another final wheel and tire, nice and clean. Four P600, P6000s all the way around, which is the correct spec, like I said. Coming around on the front, that scuttle. Again, normally a problem area for, area for this year of Ford. Nothing to report there, lovely and tidy. Rest of the bonnet, nice and straight. We'll move the camera around a bit, see if you can uh, see what I mean. There's no sort of metallic haze or any bumpers, uh, bumps or dents or anything in it. And then as far as stone chips go, we've got one tiny, tiny, tiny one there. And another tiny one, but they're actually, they haven't even gone through the paint. You can't even tell, I'm being really, really picky. And then coming up the front bumper, it sits lovely and straight. That lower sort of bumper part of the valance fits lovely. Another uh, spruce howlet plate on the front. Spotlights are nice and clear, as are so the, uh, the main lights and the uh, indicators. Grill is lovely, really, really good. Normally these barges are toast by now, but they're really good. We've got a couple of stone chips on the bumper. We've got one here. Uh, there's another one there, another one there. But again, very, very minor. I am being really picky. Um, and then if we look at the seams on the front, there is a stone chip here that's just sort of gone a little bit crusty. That one's cleaned off. And there is a tiny couple of marks on that seam. But again, one cleaned off just to make the car that little bit closer to perfect. Seam on this side, really, really good. So clearly very well looked after. We've, we're filming the whole thing here in 4K, so you can't get much better quality than that. Um, and you can see every, every, every inch of the car properly, which is always the right way to do it. Um, the car was uh, Zabard from new. You can see that as we go around. Lovely clean driver's door card. The seats are these these ones, especially these XR3 seats with the bigger bolsters, were notoriously bad. But this one, as you can see, beautifully clean all the way up. It, they always look dirty on the camera, but if we get in nice and close, you can see that's just the way that the, the material pushes. It's actually really, really clean. Sides are all good, headrests lovely. Carpet set, it's obviously had carpets down most of its life because there's no ingrained dirt there. We can get under there and see there's no sign of any corrosion coming through there. It's got a tiny little crack just starting there and there on the dash where they always go, but it hasn't come all the way up. If you keep the uh, warm weather cover on that, that'll stop it getting any worse. Steering wheel, lovely and clean and tidy. The car shows 70,261 miles. Uh, if you check the description, we uh, will detail what we've got as far as service history. We know about the ownership, all that sort of stuff. Like I say, four previous owners. We'll, uh, we'll detail all that in the description, but looking around the car, I do think that looks to be genuine. Nice and clean around the uh, gear stick and the handbrake. Standard Ford tape deck in it. It's not been messed in with a sort of daft aftermarket stereo or anything like that. The tape holders down the bottom are all lovely. So really good on the driver's side, as you can see. If we look at the backs of the seats again, they've not been kicked or abused. The... Uh, Rear bench doesn't look like it's been sat on at all. Really, really good. As are the door, sort of the side pieces, which would be a door card. Obviously, there's no door there. 
headline again, lovely and clean and tidy. On the sunroof's all good. Sun visors and everything. Really, really good. We'll, uh, we'll pop the bonnet while we're here. It does have a Clifford fitted, but someone has gotten the sense of putting it on one of the blanking switches. And then you've got a remote. It's got two sets of keys with this car as well. Right, going around into the boot. I think every Ford from the 80s we've got in at the minute needs a set of struts. They always do. But it's worth pointing that out. No speaker holes cut in the parcel shelf. Nice and tidy. The, uh, the plastic on the edges, all the way around, really good. Carpet set's lovely and clean. Obviously, I mentioned earlier on, car was sealed from new. Just shows there's no corrosion or anything coming through. It's lovely and dry in there. If, you're, uh, if you really want to, that stuff's easy enough. Get it removed, get it polished up. It'll look fantastic. But obviously, that is the original sealer on there. Which has done its job after 30 years. Coming around on the passenger side, outside of the doors, bottoms of the doors, lovely and clean. Another good door card. Door shuts are excellent. I've obviously not had any seatbelts or anything trapped in them. This side of the dash is all good. Nice and tidy. And then the seat on this side, exactly the same as the driver's side. No sign of any dirt, no sign of any wear. Backs of the seats are good. And again, same goes for the rear bench. It does make for a boring video not being able to point anything out that's wrong, but it does make for a very, very good car. Now, under the bonnet, obviously these later cars, the eyes, with those 1600 injections, as you know, if you're watching this, totally original, it's not been messed with. No aftermarket mods that I can tell. Inner wings and everything lovely and clean again. It's got that original seal around the, the seams. Um, and it's got all the right stamps on the wings and things. All the telltale signs that they are original. This front plate, lovely and clean. All the plaques, nice and visible. Exactly as you'd want. We'll, uh, we'll get it started up. There you go. Obviously those lights down for a couple of seconds while it's doing its check and then they go off. All nice and tidy under there. Give it a little rev. Sounds nice and smooth, just like it should. Go around the back, so show there's nothing flying out the back of there. Yeah, lovely and clean. Again, it's been well kept in its current ownership. Look at it through the documents. It looks like it's been well kept all of its life. So there you have it, 1983 Ford XR3i. If you've got any more questions, please get in touch. Of course you can come and view anything we've got in, in, in any auction we're open. Monday to Saturday, or we can do Sundays by appointment as well. Uh, if you can't get to us, again, let us know. We can do video calls. We can send you extra photos or videos or answer any questions you might have. Just let us know. Thank you.